everybody. How are you doing today? My name is Mr. Harney, or you can call me Harney, and I am one of the program facilitators at MFRC. Now, I wonder, do you recognize any letters within my name? Hmm, I wonder what letters I know. Hmm, did you recognize any? Hmm, let's see. So, this is how you spell my name. It is H A R N Y. Again, it's H A R N Y. Did you get any of those letters? Well, I hope so. And so, my name is Harney, or you can call Mr. Harney. And today, I really want to welcome everybody with a song called Fanga Alafia and you might recognize this song so the song goes like this Fanga Alafia Ashe Ashe Fanga Alafia Ashe Ashe Do you recognize that song? Well, I wonder if you know what Fanga Alafia Ashe Ashe means Hmm What do you think? Well, don't you worry I got some cards here for you to show you what Fanga Alafia means. So, Fanga means welcome. So, Fanga means welcome. Now, what do I mean when I say Fanga Alafia? Well, Alafia means peace. Alafia means peace. So, when I put those two together, it means I welcome you in peace. Again, it's I welcome you in peace. Now, a shay a shay, what does that mean if we put them those together? Well, first, a shay means be with us, right? Be with us. So when I put them together, funga alafia a shay a shay, it means. I welcome you in peace and please be with us. Please be with us and join us to have fun and learn together. So that's what it means. Now, can everybody sing it with me again? Are you ready? Get ready. A one, a two, a one, two, three, four. Funga alafia, ashe, ashe. Funga alafia, ashe, ashe. Funga alafia, ashe, ashe. Funga alafia, ashe, ashe. I welcome you in kindness, 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 ashe, ashe. Wow, nice singing everybody. And yes, I welcome you here today. And let's welcome also everybody that's here today to learn about kindness. Are we ready? We're gonna start with a book. And hmm, what are we gonna read today? We are going to read a book about kindness. And it's called When We Are Kind by Monique Gray Smith and illustrated by Nicole Maydart. So when I say illustrated, sometimes it appears as a second name or after the author, it means this person, Nicole, drew all the beautiful pictures that are inside this book. Now, before we start, hmm, I wonder, how are you kind? What do you do to show your kindness. Hmm, think about it and let's see if you can relate to or you do the same thing that the people, the children and the adults in this book do to show their kindness. So here we go. I am kind when I help my family. Can you see everybody? Oh, here is the little child and they are helping out 
their daddy, right? Put up the clothes to dry the laundry outside. That's how they show their kindness. I am kind when I share with my friends. Everybody, can we see what these friends are doing and how they are sharing? It looks like they are doing an art activity. They're drawing something with crayons and markers. And look, they are sharing the crayon with their friends to show their kindness. Hmm. I am kind when I take my dog for an extra long walk. So you can see here, the little child here is walking the dog. And by doing that, they are showing their kindness. And look over here, it gives time for, it looks like mommy and daddy to take care of the little sibling. And that's what, how we show kindness as well. Oh, I am kind when I help my neighbors. Oh, look, it looks like the neighbors are going outside with this, uh, hmm, let's see who it is, this girl over here, right? And they are helping out by putting on the scarf, the jacket for their neighbor. And that's how they show their kindness. I am kind when I bring food to my elders. Can we see over here? Oh, you can see the children over here are bringing food to their elders. So when I say elder, it means it can be your grandma, it can be your grandpa, it can be an older uncle or auntie. And this is how you can show kindness by bringing them food. I am kind when I only take from the earth what I need. So look, you can see here, it looks like the mommy or auntie and the child is taking fruits or berries from the bush and they are only taking what they need. So they're only taking enough so that it fills their tummy and nothing more so that we can also have these berries for others to have to eat. So we're kind of sharing the berries as well. Oh, look at this. I am kind when I take care of myself and get a good night sleep. So did you think about that as well? That when you are kind to yourself, you have to take care of yourself. And one of those ways is to have a good night's sleep, right? So that you are full of energy the next day, well rested, so that you can use that energy to be kind to others. I feel joy when my family and I are kind. So look, the child and the parents over here or caregivers are going together to visit family. And they're all showing kindness by also bringing food to what it seems their auntie or one of their elders. So that's how you show kindness to others and they feel joy and you feel joy too because you are making others feel happy. I feel happy when my friend is kind to me. You can see here, you see what they're doing? These two friends are sharing the toys and they feel happy because they are able to share toys and play with each other by taking turns. <laughs> I feel comforted when my cat is kind to me. Wow, did you think about that too? That you can also find kindness from your pets, right? When they are kind to you. And you can see here the cat is snuggling against the two people here, right? If you have 
dogs or cats or fish or even uh, uh, parrots like birds or even iguana right as a pet and if they show kindness to you you yourself might feel happy and that is how they should and that's how your pets show kindness to you I feel loved when my elders are kind to me so even our elders our aunties or our uh, grandma or grandpa can show kindness by doing an activity with you and you can see here this elder is reading a book to this child and that's how they show kindness to them and the child feels happy when they show kindness to them oh look at this one i feel grateful when the earth is kind to me so this is something really really cool so when we take care of mother earth mother earth is also kind to us by providing us lots of different vegetables and fruits for us to eat and it looks like these children are harvesting i think you can see there's corn here it looks like these are these are green beans i don't know if you can see but these are green beans so that's how mother nature and the earth show kindness to us but first we have to remember that we have to take care of mother earth so before they can show uh, kindness to us oh i feel respectful when i am kind to myself so there's another way to be kind not only do you have to have a good night's sleep but you also have to eat delicious food to have enough energy for being kind but also so that your body you know has the nutrient to grow and to have again energy to be kind to others and we oh when we are kind <laughs> we remember we are all related so you can see here everybody's here in this circle singing and you know playing music and look everybody's here we see the animals are here too oh over here and here and then you can also see all the plants are here too with us to be kind and when we're kind to each other and others are kind to us we feel a little closer a little loved right so thank you everybody for joining me to read this book did you enjoy it i hope so and hmm, were some of the things that you were thinking of on how to be kind did you do some of them that were in the book well I, well, I hope so. And if not, that's okay. Now you know some other ways that you can be kind to yourself and to others. Hmm. I wonder if there was a specific part of the book that you remember very well or that you really liked. Hmm. Well, Mr. Harney really, really, really enjoyed the part where we were kind to nature or Mother Earth right because when we're kind to mother earth mother earth also gives things back in return like food and even uh, yummy vegetables right so the next thing that i want to do is to show kindness to the plants that we have here on earth and at mfrc we have a little garden with lots of different uh, plants and flowers so do you want to join Mr. Harney in watering the plants to show kindness to the flowers? Okay, let's go. Okay, so now we are at the MFRC garden and I am going to show kindness to the plants by providing them or giving them some water. Right here I have a jug filled with water and if you don't have a jug, you can always use a bucket or you can even use a big I guess plastic bowl and fill it up with water or you can even use your water bottle fill it up with water bottle uh, with, fill your water bottle with water and then you can pour it into a plant are you ready let's go 
Okay, so here we are at the garden. And let's see, let's go over here and see what we have. Wow, look at this. Oh, let's use our sense of touch and oh, touch the plant. Very, very soft, isn't it? Oh, let's see, let, perhaps we can give some plants some water. So again, take your jug and we're going to carefully pour some water for the plant. Mm, I hope they really like it. Oh, what's over here? Oh, do you recognize these? They're kind of pointy. So sometimes you have to be careful because these are called thorns. So they can be really pointy, see? Ouch, don't touch it, so be careful. Now let's see what's over here. Oh, Ooh, look at these. Wow, they look like berries. Berries. Do you remember in the book where the mommy was picking berries with the child? Yeah, maybe we can water them a little bit. Okay, ready? Ah, there we go. Hope the berries like the water. Okay, let's go over here. And wow, look at all of these plants different types of plants. So remember we touched a, pl a real leaf the, uh, just now? Look, now there's these leaf. Oh, it's really soft. How about this one? Oh, this one is really soft too. Wow, and look at this. Oh, these are different. Whoa, they have little buds here. Can you see them? Wow, and look at the little buds. How do they feel? They're not prickly. They're not completely soft. Hmm. How do they feel to you? And look, they even have these ones over here. Oh, these ones are a little hard. Wow. Okay, maybe we can give thanks to them for letting us, you know, explore their leaves and feel their leaves by providing them some water. Okay, thank you plant, here's some water. Amazing. Oh wow, look at this, let's come over here. And whoa, this is interesting. This plant is all dried up, oh no, that's okay. But look, this dried up plant, oh, does it feel smooth or does it feel rough? Hmm. Do you hear a sound? Oh, I hear a sound because it's so rough and dry. Well, that's okay. But again, thank you for letting us feel how rough it is. Oh, look what's in the garden. Do you recognize this? This is a statue of a dog. Yeah, it's so very, very cute. Now let's come over here one more time. Oh, look, it's the same plants that we saw over there. Now we're over here. You know, let's give some thanks to these plants too so that they can grow tall and big. Wow, good job, everybody. Now, oh, I think I see something else here. Oh, what's behind? this oh it is a tree look how tall it is and look at all the leaves that are coming out now out of the tree do you know what a tree needs as well to grow tall and big and grow lots of beautiful green leaves well do you know what it is it is water it needs water so first let's see what the tree feels like. Hmm. How does it feel? Smooth or rough? Does it make a sound? Now, do you hear it? Okay, thank you, Leaf. Let's give it some water. There we go. Thank you, tree. Yeah, wow. Thank you, everybody. Okay, everybody, now that we have explored the garden and given our kindness to the garden by 
watering them. Hmm, now let's see what's in the garden that we can use to make a collage. If you don't know what a collage is, a collage it is just taking different objects, maybe paper or even plants and stuff, and putting everything together and making a beautiful picture. So let's see what's inside the garden that we can use to make our collage. Okay everybody, so now we're back in the garden and let's see what we can use to build or make our collage. Oh, I see some things here. So I'm gonna put it in our bucket that we used to fill up our water. Oh, look, I see a, what's that? Oh, a dandelion that we can use. And the lion plant that we can use for the bed. Oh, let's look into the garden. Oh, I see some leaves that have fallen and have stayed over winter. Let's shake it off so that we don't get any little little bugs in there because we don't want to disturb them. And then we can use that. Oh, I know this is still growing. So remember, we are only taking what we need from Mother Earth. So we're only going to take one so that the other one can grow. Hmm, what else do you see that we can use in the garden? Oh, I see we have some twigs over here. Do you see it? Yeah, we can use that. Oh, I see something that has fallen, a little plant that has fallen right here. So we can use that as well for our collage. Huh. Maybe another dandelion flower we can use. Let's look over here to our plant here. Ah, I wonder if we can use some of these leaves. So we're only going to take what we need. So we're only going to take a little bit. That's it. That's all we need. And then, maybe these ones. Just a tiny little bit. Right? Just a little bit. Click. That's all we need, not too much, right? Because this is also being kind to the flowers by not taking all of it. We're only taking what we need to make our collage. Yeah, let's see. Hmm, what else can we take to use for our collage? Oh, I see something here. Oh, maybe we can use this one. This one has already fallen. Okay, maybe we use that one. Oh, do you think we have enough for a collage? I think so. So let's go back in and we're gonna make our collage. Okay, everybody, now that we're back inside, let's put everything that we found in our garden and make a collage. So what you will need is a piece of paper, any color that you want, a piece of paper. And we also need some glue. There we go. Here's some glue. And let's see. We also need what we found outside, right? So let's dump it out and see what we found from outside. Ooh, look at this. So look, remember, we found our dandelion and we found some leaves, a different kind of leaf over here and this little plant over here as well, right? Are you ready? So what we can do is put some glue on our paper. Hmm, what should we put first? I think I'm gonna put the leaf first. So here's the leaf. Remember, we're gonna push it down gently so that it sticks to the glue. Oh, where else? What's next? Where should I put it? I think I am going to put the flower over here, right here where the glue is. Yeah, so it's a different color. Okay, again, I am going to put some glue. I think maybe we can use this leaf. Oh, look, it's very dry and crunchy. Ooh, maybe we can. Whoop, crunch it up, rip it into little pieces, and use it just like that. Okay, maybe I can put more glue over here to the paper. And we're gonna put 
lift a leaf right here, right over here. Might need a little bit more glue because it's all crunched up. What is next? Mm, oh, this one, very long. I think I am going to put it like right over here, right? Because it's so long, I'm going to put a long strip of glue. Long strip, just like that. Right. And then we're gonna put it here, right on here. Oh, maybe a little bit longer because this plant is super long. This flower is super long. Ta da 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 da! Right. And then we're going to put more here. Because I think I'm gonna put this little tiny plant onto my collage. Right here. Ta da! Hmm, where should I put my flower? Hmm, maybe in this corner, like just like over here. Put it together. Yeah. Okay. Oh, how about the the dried up twig that we found? Where should we put our twig? I think I'm gonna put it close to here. Right here. Right. Well, this one might be a little hard, so. Maybe we can break it in half a little so that we can stick it on to the paper. Ooh, oh, I think it needs a little bit, little bit more glue. Have to make sure there's lots of glue so that it sticks to the paper, right? There we go. This little one over here as well. Hmm, I wanna, let's finish off with our maple leaf. Yeah, where should we put our maple leaf here, over here? Oh, hmm. I'm gonna put it down here. Cause there's nothing down here yet. So let's put lots of glue over here. So that we can stick our leaf on the paper. Oh, I forgot. There's still a lot, some space here. If we can, let's try to use as much of the space on the paper, okay? Let's use this one then. Ooh, look at it. It's the one that fell off from the plant in the garden. So lots of glue, because this is a huge piece. Look how, how big it is. So we need lots of glue. Spread it all over the paper. And here we go. So it sticks, sticks, sticks. Wow. It's longer than I thought. Oh my goodness. Let's put more glue here as well. It's okay if, if we need more glue. We just put more and we stick it on. Wow. We have to tap it so it sticks the glue and onto the paper. Wow, everybody. Look at my collage and all the things that we borrowed from the garden and only what we need from the garden to make our collage. Well, I wonder how your collage came to be. I hope it is as beautiful as all the plants that we saw are in the garden. Wow, thank you. Okay, everybody, I hope you enjoyed learning about kindness today and how we can be kind to ourselves, how to be kind to others, and especially how we can be kind to Mother Earth and what Mother Earth has to provide for us when we're kind. And as you can see, remember when we were kind to Mother Earth and took care of them, they were able to give us all these beautiful leaves and flowers for us to make our collage over here, right? And I hope you enjoyed that as well. And you can try it yourself at home, right? So thank you everybody for joining me today. Thank you for coming today. Thank you for coming today. Thank you for coming today. It was nice to see you. Thank you for coming today. Thank you for coming today. Thank you for coming today. I hope to see you soon. Thank you, everybody. I hope I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.